Okay, so I know that we've talked about this before, Vince, but can you talk about this giant pile of money and the logistics? Um, you also, Michelle, I remember you telling me about how all this money had to be counted and it has to be returned and stuff like that. The money on the top, and it's all fake money, um, but uh, and there's a box. There's the W. You guys built a a box underneath, or was that special effects? That no, that was that? actually special yeah. effects. Mm -hmm. So there's so there's a box underneath. It's not solid money all the way through. But this money does, it's actually quite expensive and it comes from Los Angeles and uh, we, you'd walk for days, you'd walk by uh, rooms in the production office and you'd see the props guys counting money out to make sure that it was all accounted for. It's hilarious. It's, it's a weird system because each fake dollar bill costs $4.18 to rent. So I, I, I question the, uh, <laughs> the fact that we keep doing this, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys said, I think at one point, didn't you guys say that you had actually tried to figure out how much money this is? And yeah. The, uh, the best guess Mark Hansen had, Mark Hansen's our uh, wonderful prop master, his best guess is somewhere on the order of $80 million. This is what this would be if it were real. Okay. You know, uh, it's the 20s and 50s. And whose idea was the raid with the silverfish and stuff? Just, Which I love. Vince Gilligan. Was that? Yeah. Just, I yeah, think it's very cool. funny. If you had that much dough, you'd want to. You definitely want to want to keep the uh, the paper eating bugs away from it. I would think that's awesome. 